Hi, my name is John. Welcome to another Banggood Tool Review. This time I'm going to be doing a review on a multi-pack of cobalt drills. Before we look at the drills and get started, I want to make one or two things perfectly clear. The first thing is Banggood don't make these drills, they export them from China. The second thing is Banggood have sent me these drills to do with whatever I want. I can keep them, sell them, use them. I'll probably keep them and use them if they're any good. Uh, the only form of payment they get, I suppose, is a little bit of sales work off my adverts. The other thing is, if you click on the link and buy a set of these drills, or if you click on the link and buy anything from Banggood, I do get a small amount of commission. As I keep saying, <laughs> wait till I want to retire, but it does help us to buy odds and ends and business pieces for the shop. Right, that's enough talk and let's get stuck in, see exactly what these drills are and see what they'll do. The drills come in a decent metal box with a nice plastic tray. Unusually because Banggood's packaging is normally shite, but these are quite nicely presented. Go for 1.5mm up to 10mm. Obviously you get a lot more 1.5s than you do 10s. And the number slowly goes down as the drills get bigger. The idea being probably you snap more little drills than you do big drills. Drills are consumables, they, they don't last forever. Um, Basically, we'll try and drill some holes with them. See how accurate they are, see what size holes they will drill. I've got a job to do that needs, like, it's 24mm holes, so we'll use them for the, that particular job. And I'll try some different grades of steel, some cast iron, some bronze, aluminium, a bit of stainless steel, some AN8. Let's just see what the, the drills will do. I'm not going to try and burn them out, but I'm going to give them a, a fair chance. I will be using, in the mill machine, like a drill press, but I'm also going to use them freehand in a cordless drill like you'll probably do in your, your own workshop if you haven't got a drilling machine. Right, that's enough talking. Let's have a, a bit closer look. We'll get the big one because it's easier to focus on. If I can get out the box. Right, they're quite nicely ground. They've been ground 135 degrees as well. They've got a very, very nice point so they should start quite easily but the size of it on the shank 10 mil high speed cobalt measure it it's 994 993 they're never actually spot on but slightly under 592 One good thing is, you can turn the box upside down and you don't all fall out. Quite impressed with the packaging. That's a nice tray that, that will lift out and probably go into my, one of my dual drawers. And me. Anyway, that's enough what we're going to do. Let's drill some holes. This is the job I have to do. There's a series of 4 mil holes in there. I think there's 18 of them. And there's a bit of bright bar in there set up, ready for the first hole. And I think the holes are 40 mil apart. I'll have a measure and then we can start drilling the holes and see what happens. The holes are 4 mil and they're 30 mil apart. I'm not going to use a, a spot drill or a centre drill to do these. I'm just going to go straight in and see what sort of result we get. I'm going to put a little bit of cut nail on because I would do that anyway, any matter what drill I was using. Right, first one. Right, 30 mil from there. Not much drama there at all really. I'm just going to move the clamp down.
Well, the crew's running 1800. Approximately, I could speed up, but it's, it's doing its job all right at that. Nine eight. I'm quite impressed with the way it starts without the, the spot drill. Then we'll take that 4mm drill out. I'll keep on using the same drill. I don't appear to do anything to it. So we'll carry on using that 4mm drill. I'm going to use the other ones as well, but we'll keep that because I know it's done a bit of work. That's a piece of angle iron. Still got the male scale on it. It'd be nasty stuff to, to drill sometimes this can't to get through the hard skin. This is the same 4mm drill. If at this. Right, we'll keep that to one side because it seems to be a good one and we'll use that for all the rest of the, the 4mm wheels. We'll go up to a 10. So we've already got a 4mm pilot wheel there. I'm going to slow it down. That's only just on a thousand there. I think that's not a problem. These stringy bastards can be though. Right, I'll try it on the pilot wheel. I normally wouldn't do this, I'd normally put a, a pilot wheel in. Right, there's not much of what I that really, is there? Put the 8mm one in just to see what giving them all a, a bit of a try. Once again, no pilot wheel. A little bit faster this time. Right, I'll change the material. Right, this is stainless steel. I've used it before for testing various Banggood products on. This is the 4mm drill we've been using. Absolutely effortless. Okay, so that drill's done quite a bit of work and it didn't struggle on that but it didn't drill as freely as the, the softer material I'll try another 4 mil.
which is a brand new one, same speed, no difference really, slightly, slightly sharper, I'm putting slightly less pressure on, Yeah, we'll put the 10mm back in. Slow things down again. Yeah, that's enough of that, it's walking through there, effortless. This is AN24 steel. Decent stuff. Try the, we'll try the 10 mil drill through it without the start our hole, see what happens. I mean, normally you would put a pedal hole in for this. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. There's a lot of smoke, it's not getting that hot, this stuff does smoke quite a lot. See the smoke's coming off nice, clean, even for the side of the drill. Not much the matter with that really is that. So that's a 10mm hole without the pellet. I'll try a 10mm roll pin there and see how good a fit it is. Right, that's a 10mm roll pin and it's a reasonable fit. That's a good fit. I mean normally you'd use a reamer you wouldn't do that. This is 3mm stainless flat bar, this can be nasty stuff to drill, if you get it hot, the surface work hardens and it, uh, it just won't drill. So you've got to go in, plenty of pressure, plenty of cutting fluid, effortless, absolutely effortless. Right, I can't see the point in drilling aluminium or copper or brass because I know they'll, they'll cut it. People will be asking what I'm using, the magic compound, that's it there. Good stuff, I use it all the time. I sometimes thin it with a little bit of WD-40. 
use it in an oil can, but I use it all the time. Right, you may see it's all well and good in a, in a drill press, what about free hand in the vase? That's a piece of really hard angle. I do a lot of freehand drilling on snap studs and you should be pretty good for that. Good for good for breaking your wrist this. getting done on the drill. Oh you bastard. Yeah. I'm sure you'll agree we'll give the drills a good run for our money. They did very well as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the question is would I buy a set of these drills for my workshop? Absolutely I think I a good value for money. I did use relatively correct speeds and I did use cotton fluid. I do that with all my drills. Um, you can burn any drill out, run the wrong speed and run them dry, but for the money they're, they're good value. So I'm going to take that, I'll take that tree out of there and that'll go to my new drawers. Um, and I can keep it topped up with drills. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little short video. Don't forget, if you click on a link and you buy something, I do get a little bit of commission. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.